Hi to all the viewers. In this video, we will be studying some interesting thing that is industrial utilization and economic importance of pteridophytic plants. So, in the beginning, let us understand the economic importance of pteridophytes which are used as foods. So, young leaf tips of the fur here, the fur is shown. The sarcinate texas are used as vegetable. The young fronds of Ampelopteris prolifera are sold in market as Dekishak in India and Bangladesh. The leaves of Marsilia commonly called as Shushni are used as vegetables. So these plants, Ampelopteris marcellia, are used as vegetables. The rhizome of many ferns like Teris. This Teris plant is shown here, which is rich in starch and it is used as food. The corm, that is modified stem of Isoetis, which is here, Isoetis is used as a food by pigs, ducks and other animals. Uh, so we can call that as a fodder. Then dry fronds of many ferns form the livestock for cattle. The quadrifid leaf blade of Marsilia resembles a clover that is trifolium leaf and has been used as fodder for animals as a substitute for clover as it is very rich in nutrient contents. Then let's see that ethnomedicines, pteridophytes used as ethnomedicine or pteridophytes used as medicinal plants. So here see the first blacknum orientally the hot decoction decoction in marathi is called as kadha so decoction of pinny is applied externally over abscess to liberate pus and also for its antiseptic action fresh decoction is applied once a day till abscess dries up then Chelianthus tenuifolia, here it is shown. These fronds cut into pieces, made, uh, paste is made of these fronds and applied on abscess in the form of poultice to liberate pus and also used as antiseptic. The poultice is given once a day till abscess is completely cured. Apical soft portion of Cyathea contaminants. This Cyathea is shown here. The codex, codex is mature part which is cut into the pieces and crushed in a mortar or it can be even used to crush uh, through the blender and added water to make its paste. The paste is then applied locally on major cuts or wounds for immediate clotting of blood. The same also prevent microbial growth in cut surface so that no abscess could develop. Fresh paste is applied every day till the wound is completely healed. So these are few of the pteridophytes which are generally used as medicinal properties. Then utilization and economic importance of pteridophytes as ornamental plants. See which ornamental plants are there. That very common pteridophyte we have seen in the previous chapter that is Necrolepis exentata. Then Pteris vitata, Silotum nudum which is shown here. Then Lycopodium lagmaria which is shown here. Then Selaginella wild novi. Selaginella bryopteris, which is this plant, Selaginella bryopteris. 
These plants are sold as a resurrection plants which rejuvenate in contact with water. So this Silaginella and uh, uh, one more fern is there that is Chelianthus albo marginata. They completely dry when they lose water but if you put them in a bottle or any pot where water is available within one or two hours it completely become green. If you take them out from the water again it becomes dry. So this ability to absorb water and become green that is called as a resurrection properties and due to which it is sold as ornamental plants. Then pteridophytes used as biofertilizers. So azola is one of the free floating pteridophytes and that is called as water fern which can multiply very quickly through vegetative propagation. There are hundreds of moss like leaves are buried here you can see these are actually the leaves like colonies of dinitrogen fixer cyanobacterium and anabena azoli. So cyanobacteria are present within these leaves some species are there and within that these cyanobacteria named anabena azoli are growing there and they are fixing the atmospheric nitrogen into the soil. So such pteridophytes are used in rice fields and they are giving ample amount of nitrogen and after their death and decay it can also act as a green manure. The rice farmers of our country are using as well as biofertilizer for the better production of their crops. Now we will see the pteridophytes used as indicator plants. They are indicating something. Now if you see equisetum, this plant equisetum, which is actually a gold indicator. So wherever these plants are growing, they absorb some amount of gold in their stem. And this plant is indicating the soil is rich with respect to gold. So wherever these plants are growing luxuriantly, that soil can be considered as rich in gold. So equisetum may be referred as gold indicator. Similarly, asplenium, this plant you can see, asplenium adulterium is an indicator of nickel and another plant is the actinopteris australis is indicator of cobalt. These are the soil nutrients which are essential for plant growth. So such type of soil can be collected and applied to the plants. So we can use that soil as fertilizer also and these soils can be exploited by observing which kind of plants are growing in that soil. Some other uses can also be seen. This plant is shown here that is Osmunda and it is used to make beds for growing orchids. Water boiled with Lycopodium calamitum is used for dyeing the woolen clothes which becomes blue when dipped in a bath of Brazil wood. So this is used for or used as a bed for orchid and this Lycopodium clavatum is used to obtain blue colored dye that is used to dye the woolen clothes. Then another pteridophyte is there that is lycopodium. The powder of lycopodium is highly inflammable and it can be used in pyrotechny and in artificial lightning. Thus lycopodium powder finds its wide use in demonstration of artificial lighting on the stage because it disperses easily in the air and only a small quantity is needed to produce an explosion. 
few of the other period of fights here uh, in table form the, uh, the first one that is rumora adnt form is it is used in cut flower arrangement marsilia is used as food azolla is used as bio fertilizer that is uh, atmospheric nitrogen dryopteris flix mass that is treatment of tapeworms teris vitata that is removal of heavy metals from soils as bio remediation it can be used teridium species that leaves yielding the green colored dye then equisetum species the uh, stems are used for scouring and it is also indicators especially gold indicator Silotum, Lycopodium, Silaginella, Angiopteris. These are the plants grown as ornamental plants. And this is the last slide. Here, Adiantum, Candatum used in skin diseases. The leaf paste is actually used. Actinopteris radiata. It is anti-malarial properties. Aspelinium falcatum. It has anti-helminthic and tapeworm reducer. As well as pinata, it is antifungal and antibacterial. Silaginella bryopteris, it is used in liver diseases and it is also a resurrection plant. Then dryopteris colchiata used as antibacteria and teridium revolutum is used in gastric and intestinal diseases. So this way we have finished this part and chapter also. Thank you.